Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is a video about bankroll management. What is bankroll management? Well, as a poker player, your inventory is money. That's what you use to make money. So the question is, how much do we need? How should we be optimizing our time and our money effectively uh, to make the most we can as a return? And that's a very common question uh, with a very complicated answer, to be honest. But I'm going to try and, and simplify it a little bit for you. The short answer is it depends. That sucks, right? No one likes that answer. Uh, but basically, the, there's several life situations that you have to take into consideration. Um, if you have a family, you have a wife and kids, you have a mortgage, and you're a professional poker player, it's probably not good to be buying in for 10% of what you have. That doesn't make much sense, right? Whereas if you are in college and you're playing with your side money and you maybe want to give it a go, but you'll be fine without, uh, you could be maybe a little bit more aggressive. So that's the premise behind bankroll management. You have to figure out for yourself what sort of risk you want to take. And I'll just caution that I think the mass majority, I would guess 95% of people, underestimate the amount of swings you can see in poker. The variance, the, the ups and downs, it's crazy. So my general guideline, my general advice is 100 buy-in bankroll management. What does that mean? If you have a $100 bankroll, you, only, you can only play $1 tournaments maximum. You can play less than that. You can play $0.50, cents, $0.25, cents, $0.10, cents, $0.02. Cent. Um, but you can't play $2 yet. You have, to, you have to earn your keep at that level. You have to move your way up. So that is my general guideline. And of course, you can adjust that to your situation. If you have a job, uh, you don't have very many expenses, you're cool with just playing some poker and maybe something will stick and you'll, you'll make your way up eventually. Sure, play with 20 buy-ins. It's okay. You have another paycheck coming in. Poker is supposed to be fun. That's fine. Um, you know, say, say it's the other way and you never want to redeposit again. One investment, that's it. That's going to be your shot at poker. Maybe you want 200 or 300. So that is my general recommendation for tournaments. For cash games, I'm not an expert. I hear people say 30. I hear people say 50. Uh, I would fall somewhere in between there. Just make sure you readjust. So if, you're, if your bankroll is $400, you can play $0.10, cent, $0.25, cent, $25 buy-in game, right? Um, if you drop down to 300 you have to move levels. You can't keep playing there. You have to adjust. Treat it like a video game, like a leaderboard. You earn your next level. And you can't, you can't go against that. Uh, that will show you the way to success. So uh, another thing you may want to consider, and something that I do as a professional, I think the maximum buy-in after you've played a lot of poker and you're sort of familiar with the swings you can see is, is maybe a little bit harsh. So what I do as a professional is I do average buy-in system, which allows you to take a couple more shots and is more forgiving for people playing a bit higher stakes. For example, say someone had... $10,000, right? And they wanted 100 average buy-ins. Okay? So that means their their average buy-in would be 100 bucks, right? Um so if you wanted to play tournaments that average around $100, well there's not that many of them, right? There's maybe 10 a day and if you're playing 30 or 35 a day, that's a struggle. So with an average buy-in, well you could throw in a 200 and they could throw in 250s and a 100, and it'll still average uh, at 100 average buy-in. So that's something you can look to move into the further you get into your into your poker career, your poker project, or whatever it is for you, your poker um, hobby. But I think to start, the leaderboard system is much better. Um, anyways, if you guys have any questions about bankroll management, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Uh, like, no, 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 thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know what's what's your bankroll management. What's your approach? Uh, I won't tell you specifically what mine is, you guys. It's one of the only questions I won't answer. But um, let's just say it's much more conservative than a hundred buy-ins. Uh, I think as a professional, I really like feeling comfortable uh, with the amount I'm investing. Just because, you know, if you can lose three days in a row and it doesn't really affect your life situation, it just allows you to play in a much more free environment. So, anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the comments. Thanks.